It's time for the greatest athleticism you've ever seen in your life. The pros and the leagues are shaking in their boots. With all the videos out there of talented bowlers showing their stuff, there's this series, as it is now time to watch me suck at bowling. Welcome to another edition of Watch Me Suck at Bowling, coming to you from Harvard Plains in Harvard, Massachusetts. Once again, visiting another tough house where I typically don't do well, but the first game actually wasn't too bad. It was a 98. So the question is, how will we do this time, and will the Harvard curse take effect? In this case, the second version of the Harvard curse which is, all games are bad, definitely isn't happening. But the other problem is that each game after is always lower than the previous, and it usually ends badly. Will that happen? Will it be another good game? Let's find out. Once I tell you that, Watch Me Suck at Bowling is proud to sponsor the hit Candleman TV show, King of the Palace. Go to youtube.com slash new palace lanes and watch videos to your content. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Of course, you could start by just typing in King of the Palace in the YouTube search bar, then doing the latter. And now, something less than King of the Palace like. Frame on ball one. Since they are playing music, unfortunately, most of the audio will be muted. Ball two. There's one of those typical starts. Ball three. We have the one, seven, eight, nine. Let's see what we can do. How appropriate, the 9 pin remains for a 9. And for those of you who like the pin setters, here's the bowl more in action, clearing what little is left, plus a lot of dead wood. And now to set a fresh set of 10 pins, there they are, and there you go. Frame two ball one. So far we're not off to all that bad of a start. The queens leave on the right, and a nine. Should be easy to get something. Ball three. Then again, you know what you're watching. Let's see if we can clean something up, though. Did all right. An eight. So far, not too bad, considering that both frames looked kind of terrible after two balls. We got a nine and one. Eight and two. So far, we stand at 17. Frame three by one. Let's see if we can actually get off to a halfway decent start this time. That was a bit much to ask, wasn't it? Ball two, half Worcester. As Dave Madla says on King of the Palace, it's pretty when it goes. It did not go, but it's not all that bad. Looks like we got another nine, with the middle finger remaining. Frame four, ball one. We are still looking for a decent start on ball one. Ball two. Finally, a frame with a decent start. Let's see if we can make a decent ending. Decent ending indeed. It's a spare. These two frames weren't too bad at all. We got a 9 and 3, and a spare in 4. So far we have a 36 with El Stinko, the bonus ball to come. 
Frame 5 by 1, El Stinko. What will the bonus be? Hopefully it will be decent. The 5 fill isn't all that bad, but El Stinko stinks for leaving the washout. Ball 2, don't that suck? Dealing with the 4 horsemen on the left and the 10. Put the ball in the pocket. We should be able to get rid of it all. Let's see what happens. That ball was just a hair too far to the left. It wasn't a bad attempt, though. Swing and a miss. It's an 8. Frame 6 ball one. There was a little bit of a backward slide there, but we can recover. Ball two. Four horsemen left, piece of wood that could help guide the ball into the rest of them. Ball three. If you wonder what I mean by I suck at this game part time, that ball is proof of it. There's the I wish it was ball two moment with a 10. Those two frames were okay. We got an eight and five. The first five that fell made the fill for the spare. And we got a 10 and six. We are at a halfway decent 59. Frame seven, ball one. So far it appears the Harvard curse is not taking effect. Ball two, screw twice. We have a fattened pin. That should make it a fairly easy spare. That was the roundabout way of getting one. For Maple and El Stinko. What will the bonus be this time around? Better or worse? El Stinko stinks almost as bad as it possibly can with a one. Ball two. Well, remember what show you're tuning into. Let's see if we can clear this up. And that piece of wood definitely needs to be cleared out. Ball three. On the plus side, it's about 70% of the lane it'll get us something. Of course, yours truly could find the other 30%. We get a 7. Well, that definitely could have went better. We got the spare in 7, which was pretty good. But unfortunately, Curse of the Fill happened, where we only got 1 from El Stinko. And ultimately only had 7 and 8. We're at 77. Frame 9, ball 1. Things are falling apart a little bit. It's time to go and rebuild. Don't you just love when you throw a good ball and you get a crap split? Ball three, it's something. That ball was off the mark, but what an interesting thing it did. We get ten. Frame nine. Last frame ball one. Frame nine, frame ten. No real difference. Let's see what happens. Ball two. That's kind of an ugly leave, but we got some wood to help clear some of it out. That made things slightly uglier, but maybe we can get something else. Not the best ending, but we got eight. That ending wasn't all too bad. We got a ten and nine, and then an eight and ten. So far, the Harvard curse really isn't showing itself. We had a 99 in the first game, but a 95? I wouldn't call it the curse quite yet.
Fluctuation is a thing, and that's not much of one. So far, all the games are pretty good. Quite a few sucky throws in them, but still pretty good. That concludes week two of five for the month of March 2020 for Watch Me Suck at Bowling. From Harvard Lanes in Harvard, Massachusetts, this is George F551 saying hope you enjoy and have a good one.